This evening on Action Radar, we continue to track some pockets of extremely heavy rain here in the Wiregrass. Live scans on Action Radar, we can see that, and most of it is over Houston and Geneva counties, also south in the Panhandle. Some very heavy rain along and south of Interstate 10, but Houston, while well, Geneva and Houston counties are both included in a flood warning, a flash flood warning until 8:15. Basically, that means we could be dealing with water rising pretty quickly and also covering the roadways at times. So. So take it easy and allow yourself some extra time to get to where you need to this evening. These storms are also producing a lot of lightning, especially on the Georgia side of the river, south eastern Houston County, crossing over into the Donaldsonville area. Lots of lightning there and even the potential for some breezy winds. And off to the southwest and to the west, more moisture. These waves of moisture will be coming into our area as we do head into the overnight and through the day tomorrow. And we do have that potential for some heavy rain tomorrow and into Friday as well. Here are the estimates from our forecast model. What we can see upwards of over an inch and maybe getting close to an inch and a half for some locations here in the area, at least a half an inch in addition to what we've already received is possible for other locations. Rain chances will be high this evening. Temperatures will be holding steady because of all that moisture and cloud cover in place. The winds will be in the south, helping to keep those moisture levels pretty high and providing the fuel we need for those storms to develop over the next couple of days. And also we have a frontal boundary that's pretty much draped across the region that's stalled out as well. Another area of low pressure has developed over Eastern Texas. That's going to be riding along that front and helping to bring in more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And that's what will really cause some of the heavier rain, just like what we were dealing with for today. This area of low pressure was actually to our west yesterday. It moved in through the day today. Hour by hour, here we go. There's that rain continuing as we head into the evening hours. Even overnight, we'll continue to have some pockets of some pretty heavy rain here in the wiregrass that may be drying out a little bit for the first thing tomorrow morning. The cloud cover, though, staying in place, but we'll have that moisture riding into the area, especially as we head to the lunchtime hour and beyond. We'll have some pockets of rain developing and some heavy areas at that. And then for Friday overnight, first part of the day, moisture will start to move in from the west. And that's coming in with the frontal boundary, which will eventually help to clear conditions out as we do head into the weekend. But the afternoon hours will feature some showers and thunderstorms. And that could last into the evening as well, which could impact some of the high school playoff football games happening this Friday night. So here we go for tonight. The heaviest rain will be exiting 345 and beyond tomorrow morning. The cloud cover and the shower chances will be increasing the closer we get to the lunchtime hour. Four o'clock will have those areas of heavy rain setting up, maybe dying off a little bit as we do head into the evening, but certainly overnight we could still have some showers developing in the area. So have the umbrella handy and also keep the rain jacket handy as well for the next couple of days. For tonight, the rain chances do continue, though the heaviest rain will be dying off. 66 degrees for that low temperature, so pretty mild and fairly cool for tomorrow, just 77 degrees for that afternoon temperature with the cloud cover staying pretty thick, a little bit cooler than for Friday, and then we're in the 60s for the weekend, so not too bad with a mix of sun and clouds Saturday and Sunday. Then another storm, change, uh, storm system approaches us and will give us some chances of rain Monday and Tuesday of next week, and then that front that brings that will bring us some pretty cold air, our first chance of having some frost and freezing temperatures here in the wild.